This morning, a new climate study shows how some parts of Jacksonville are significantly hotter than others. These are called heat islands. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar joins us live. And Aaron, more than 60,000 people in Jacksonville feel temperatures at least 9 degrees hotter than their neighbors. And we're in one of those areas now, the downtown core. And scientists say one of the reasons why an area like this is hotter compared to other parts of the area are for things like building and paving material, lack of green space, and population density. So here's a map of what this is going to look like, specifically here in Jacksonville. This is all from Climate Central. You see those darker red shades on your screen that almost look purple. Those are the hottest parts of Jacksonville with temperatures nine degrees or hotter than neighboring areas. According to the new study by Climate Central, 67% of Jacksonville feels eight degrees or hotter than the surrounding area. Jacksonville is the 54th hottest major metro area in the U.S. Cities like New York City and San Francisco are at the top of that list, which does make sense. There's more buildings, roads, and concrete. And that creates a stronger heat island effect. But back here, one of those heat islands that term that I just mentioned is actually right outside here of Everbank Stadium where the Jaguars play as well. But one of the things that have been talked about is the fact that if you tailgate here, you can feel the scorch the scorching heat out here with the sun reflecting off the ground and all the different pavement stretches up to the fairgrounds and the new practice field. But the team and the city hope to reduce the heat as part of the stadium of the future renovations plan, the plan is to create a canopy of trees and shade that will protect fans inside. It would, it would also help block heat and reduce heat retention by at least 70%. As we give you another live look outside of Everbank Stadium this morning, the city is also spending millions of dollars to improve local parks in the area. Climate Central's report says that planting street trees and installing cool roofs can also reduce local heat islands. We're live this morning. I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, the local station. All right, thanks so much, Aaron. And to talk about this phenomenon, we want to bring in meteorologist Mark Collins. So it's not the first time that scientists have uh, have looked at this heat island effect here in Jacksonville. Right, it's been well mapped out. In fact, UNF has done some research driving around, finding all the hot spots. San Marco, they actually found out, was really hot because of the density of the buildings, something that Climate Central Report didn't talk about. But there's also things like the albedo. Surfaces that are darker colored are usually are hotter than, say, lighter colored surfaces. Uh, so that's why the tops of school buses are painted uh, white. 